Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us understand two important concepts related to SSA's cube aggregations. The first is advanced view and the second is user user based optimization. Okay. So now for this, let us go to the cube that we have developed in our earlier tutorial. Now we can see that in this cube, we have uh, got five partitions and out of these five partitions this is the only partition the first one is the only partition for which we have developed aggregate design okay so if you go to aggregates we can see the same things over here right there is only one aggregate design and it is for the internet sales that is the first partition okay this is the first partition right so now let us start our example from this point where we had left in our last video tutorial so now this is a standard view what we are seeing right now on the screen is standard view now if you remember while designing this particular aggregations that is aggregate design underscore one zero one what we had done is we had selected the default options that is we had designed the default aggregates for all the attributes of cube dimensions so now let us see which all aggregates did it designed automatically using the default option which all aggregates have been designed by the SSAS wizard okay when we have specified the default option so for this this is the advanced view okay the first one is the standard view and just be uh, the second button is the advanced view so let us click the advanced view button so now let us specify the design that we want to see right so it is from a0 to a20 okay so as we can see that uh, there are 21 aggregates right design so it's numbered from a0 to a20 now if you open or expand this particular dimensions then we can come to know against which all attributes of which dimensions the aggregates have been designed as per the default scheme okay as, as we have selected the default option for all attributes so we can see where wherever there is a tick mark that particular cell is uh, indicating that the intersection cell is indicating that the aggregates have been designed for that particular attribute okay so here we can see which all aggregates have been designed now so this is about the advanced step you can even change the aggregates over here you can unselect or select aggregate you can delete a aggregate okay if you want to remove aggregate you can just uh, click and delete the aggregate okay fine so this is about the advanced step now let us say that the aggregates that have been designed by the system okay they are not optimized and what you want to do is you want to optimize the aggregates as per the usage of the SSAS cube by the user by the end users okay so for this what we can do is you can go to the standard option now let us remove these aggregates right so I will say delete it will remove it has removed all the aggregates that were there right so now for internal sales as well as internal sales one for both these partitions okay for this particular major group there are no aggregates right so now in order to have our aggregates designed as per the second option the first option that we had taken was design aggregations right this was the wizard that we had used right now we will use the second option the second option is usage based optimization but now in order to use this particular option um, how will the user be determined the users will be determined based on the logs okay so let us see which table which database we are pointing to we are pointing on this particular ssas 2014 server we are pointing to ssas underscore dev underscore db underscore 3 this is the database name okay so let's go to our ssas database so now this is the SSAS 2014 server and this is the SSAS underscore dev underscore db underscore 3. This is exactly the name of the database that we had specified in our properties okay over here fine. So this is the name and the same name is getting reflected over here okay. Now so inside so this is the database SSAS database which holds our cube okay now for this particular instance we have to specify we have to go to this properties go to general okay 
and over here we need to specify the log query log create query log table so it by default is false i have made it true and we have to specify the connection string so which connection string i have specified i have specified uh, i have given a database server name and then i have created in my oltp okay this is my old database engine right so in that i have created a database with the same name with exactly the same name right so this is the name of the database fine and inside this database there is only one table and it has got auto created okay so i just created this database and then i i specified over here in the log properties that after connecting to this particular instance okay this particular instance i have just selected the this database which has got, got exactly the same name now i specified that connect to this database okay and create a log table now which will be the table name this this will be the table name olap query log and what is my sampling i am selecting sampling as one that is i want all the queries to be logged now so this is a table name right so let us see so i i just ran i just went to this uh, particular sss cube browser and i executed multiple queries so based on that now records are present in my database this is my logging database inside that if we go to the table if you go to let's close this right if you go to this table then we can see there are 33 rows okay right now which means this rows have come due to logging okay and now after this logging is done what we can do is we can go to aggregations now we have logs that is present in our database table which indicate which queries which sss queries are being fired by the end user on our sss cube database right so let us go to the use user base optimization you can select from here or you can go from here also okay so let us go for user user base optimization it will start the wizard let us click next let us select the partition okay it is the first partition next so it is showing us that there are total 31 queries because two queries were related to some other major group okay out of this 33 queries uh, we can see that Uh, two queries were actually for other major group for internet sales there are th these two queries are for retailer sales right and for th other 31 are for internet sales so that's why when we selected internet sales as our partition okay or major group partition so it's filtered out and informed us that there are 31 queries out of it two are distinct which means i have repeatedly executed the executed the same queries now i can even select based on the dates if the date range is quite long so i can select a subset of it okay so i'll click next so it's showing the queries right next right let me maximize this okay so i let me count so it has given us the count so let's click next let's go for 100% optimization so start so it's telling us that based on the usage of the cube by the end users two aggregations should be defined okay so let's click next and let us term this as usage based okay aggregation design usage based or aggregations user based okay so this is the name that we are giving process partitions immediately which means based on this aggregations if you want the data to be retrieved okay and processed and if you want this aggregations to be computed and saved here itself right now itself then what you can do is you can click this button this check box so once this processing is processing is completed it will save the structure or the definition of the aggregates along with that it will also process the data and save the calculated values in the cube so let's click finish so now it has started it is now deploying and processing the cube let me click run so we can see that the processing is succeed let us click 
okay next so now everything is done and over here it is now showing us that aggregations uses base is has been defined with two aggregates with this are the total estimated number of rows and it has been defined on internal sales partition right if you go to partition step similar information is available right so if you go to partition step the partition step then um, internal sales is the partition and these are the number of rows and aggregations user base has been defined right so let's come to our aggregates and let us see which all aggregates have been defined or auto defined by the system so let's go to advanced view again let's select our aggregations that is uses aggregations user base so we can see a0 and a1 which means two aggregates have been defined and if you expand the different dimensions then we can come to know that uh, it has defined aggregates based on the hierarchy the date hierarchy that was present okay this is the attribute selected also it has defined based on english product name very good and calendar year very good so these are the queries that i had actually fired uh, and based on that it is telling us to or uh, specifying us to uh, define the aggregates so i hope friends this video tutorial on uh, ssa aggregations and that to inside that the advanced view and the uh, option to create user based optimization that is aggregates which are based on the usage of the queue by the end users i hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you thank you